Oi, I'm back. And uh, this is uh, one of the stories I talked about in the last video. <coughs> well, it is a, wait a minute, let me put up the other name. This is an old, old uh, Flutter Dash <laughs> shipping uh, fiction uh, on DeviantArt by Breadcrumbs. <laughs> and I have to say, DeviantArt is a terrible format to put your stories on. Because it there's no like chapters all in one place it's different posts i guess it's really hard to set it up correctly unless it's in a literature section which this one isn't like it's all individual posts that you have to go through oh well but this story is this is the gayest thing I'll probably ever see in my life. One of the main reasons why I like fan fiction. And I think it started around 2012, went around maybe, maybe 2013 or so. But the latest word, on, I don't think it got finished. I don't know. But like, apparently, like the person just made another DeviantArt account and started posting on that instead. And she goes by uh, Terracotta uh, right now. And they made a post back in 2016 that says it's Flutter Dash Reboot. Now I can't tell the exact date of the post. It, you only get a copyright for 2016 to 2020. But in this related section, you can you can hover over other posts and get an exact date on when they were posted, which is really confusing <laughs> why it works like that, because there's no exact dates. But here it says reboot, Flutter Dash reboot, and I'm going to read the description for it. Hey there, followers. You've probably come here from uh, Breadcrumbs account. And if you have, then hello. I've been asked for years since it ended, when are you going to continue your fan fiction? It brought in a lot of revenue I didn't expect at all, and with much consideration, I've decided to reboot the story. Looking back on it, it was really terribly written, which I guess if I might find out or so as I read through it again. I'll have my own opinion on it, I guess. And the pictures were scribbled at best. As I looked at the pictures again, these little pieces of art that went with each like little chapter, I, I think they look kind of nice even now. I, I kind of like the way they look. I want to try to one-up myself. I want to try and make this one better. I am hoping to update at least once a week. No promises, though. <laughs> and you guys can expect a new chapter in a few weeks. There was one new chapter, and I they, I don't think she posted anything else about it since then. <laughs> this was four years ago. Oh, well. <laughs> I plan on keeping the same premise, but I want to do something new and fresh to it. Make it a tad less wordy and throw in different styles as often as I can. Thanks to everyone who supported me throughout all this. And I hope you join me on yet another lesbian pony adventure. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, I'm disgusting. Give me a minute. <clears throat> Whatever. But, uh, well, what else was I going to say? Yeah, you get one little new thing back in 2016, and basically nothing else for it. 
as I'm looking through this. Uh, da, 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 blah, blah. Yeah, nothing. Wait a minute. Uh, maybe one, one little piece of artwork that I that uh, was uh, uploaded in. Wait a minute. I already had it open. I'm an idiot. Back in 2017, and there's no story. To <laughs> oh well. But oh well. Uh, she's this. Uh, post implies that it got that since it ended it kind of implies it got finished but we're both gonna find out as I read through it I think it got stopped and never finished which is pretty disappointing <laughs> because cause, man I really liked it back, back in 2012 when I first got into this garbage <laughs> Uh, anything else I could say? Oh, it doesn't tell you how long. It does, one minute. Nope, I can just kind of see it, six minutes. Okay. <laughs> Man. Oh, well. I'll get it sorted out and we can go through it. All right, we can start now. But right before I do, uh, I forgot there's a little links on each post for the story that takes you to the next part or the previous part, so you can go all the way back to the beginning really easily, which is good. So. It wasn't always like this, the first part. Get out, Rainbow Dash. Just get out. A gruff female voice could be heard echoing throughout the beach resort. And as the voice commanded, I was out of the hut faster than you can say. 20% cooler. <laughs> That's a start. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. It was 2012, which is fine. I just wanted to dash off, to fly away, but my wings wouldn't work. It was as if they were glued against my torso and they wouldn't release. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't move. It felt not only my wings were glued together, but my hooves were welded to the soft sand. It didn't matter anyway. For the first time since a few months ago, I had absolutely no energy. I want, wanted to dig into the sand and never come out of the hole I was in. Instead of even running, I slumped against the door of the hut, tears streaming down my face, but no sound was heard. It was as if I couldn't cry, but my body was. Was I sad? Hurt? It was hard to tell. For the last few months, I felt that pain continuously. It was almost as if I had gone numb. I wanted to shout. I wanted to yell. But my mouth was too dry, and every attempt at a cry was cut off by my breath forcefully cutting itself off. I lay like this for at least half an hour, thinking back to how things were. You see, you know, it wasn't always like this. I wasn't this sad, pathetic pile, formerly known as Rainbow Dash, you see today. No. I was happy. This time two years ago, I was happy as I could ever be. Not because I had met my friends, but because I met her with them. And now it's because of her that I sit here, crying, defeated, empty. All I have now are the memories, the memories of how it was. Uh, part two. Oh, you really think so? I think it started a day after we got that dragon out of Ponyville. Yeah, that's. I think that's when it all began for me. For us. I know I was really impatient with her, and I was actually annoyed with her. 
She constantly hid away from any challenge and slowed us down. Listening to her little eeps got really got on my nerves. I tried to tell Twilight she should have just stayed back in Ponyville. She was useless to us on this journey. All that changed when I saw how she stood up to the dragon. How in that situation she was able to face her fears. She gained so much more respect from me since then. <clears throat> but you want to hear about how it happened, huh? Well, I was on my way to her house. I was going to, going to apologize for being such an insensitive jerk. I didn't mean to be. I really didn't. Sometimes things slip out before I could censor it. There was nothing I could do, really, except go with it. And why not? I was Rainbow Dash. I didn't let anything stifle my confidence. As I arrived, I knocked on her door. After waiting a few seconds for a response, I peered into her window. Her house seemed empty except for a few raccoons sleeping on her couch. Fluttershy? I, I called out to her, a bit concerned to why she wasn't inside. I flew over to the back to see she was near the... I flew over to the back to see she was near her little bunny, Angel, or whatever its name was, his little house. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, God. I hovered in the air, getting her attention as she seem, seemed busy cleaning up around the area. Fluttershy, I, I exclaimed. Then she didn't... <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot, I can't read. My God. Then she did that thing that annoyed me. She squealed and flinched before looking up at noticing me. I couldn't help but make a frustrated expression. She merely lowered her head, but greeted me anyway. Oh, hey, Rainbow. Why, why was she talking to me like that? Then I realized I probably looked angry. I softened my expression and landed a few feet away from her. Hey, Fluttershy. I felt myself smile nervously at her. I haven't actually spent time alone with her before. Sure, we ha hung out with the gang. And even I knew her in flight school back in Cloudsdale. But we were never friends then. Fluttershy blinked a few times, her pink hair covering her eyes. Something about the way she blinked, or the way, or the way part of her mane covered her one eye, caused something in my heart to leap. I just wanted to, you know, come over to say sorry, I said. Walking a bit closer to her, she remained aloof, but Cortis, Cortis, I think that's how you say it, um, God, and polite nonetheless. What do you mean, Rainbow Dash? She asked in that meek, quiet voice. I was a total asshat to you yesterday, and I felt bad. I just wanted to come over and say I'm sorry. Phew, that was easier than I thought. I kept the smile on my face, but felt my cheeks burn. Was I blushing? I mean, it was totally awesome the way you handled that dragon. You showed me more courage than I had ever seen. I just wanted to congratulate you for that, I said, tilting my head to the ground. This suddenly got her attention as I noticed her look back at me. Oh, you really think so? When I had looked at her, I noticed she was a tad pink as well. This made my face blush even more. At least it felt like it. Yeah, of course I do. Fluttershy the Dragon Slayer, I said. Flashing her a big smile. Oh, give me a second. Uh, Fluttershy giggled and averted her eyes. My heart leaped again. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. It seemed she had warmed up a bit. Things got quiet again. None of us had said anything in the last few seconds, and she continued to pick up around Angel's small house. Well, Rainbow Dash, it was nice that you stopped by, but I'm glad you did. I have chores to do, and I would hate to bore you. And I knew Fluttershy wasn't actually politely kicking me out. Wait, what? I may not know her as well as I ought to, but I know that she is being sincere. 
My brain was beginning to get too jumbled to say any, stay anyway. Yeah, I exclaimed. See you around. And I was gone in a dash. As I was flying, all these thoughts, all these motions were going through my mind at once. What was all that about, about and why was all this happening? I just want to, went to say sorry. Was it because I swallowed my pride and knocked myself down a few pegs to be a good friend? Yeah, that's what it was. I'm certain it was because I was trying to be a good friend. Part 3. Dashie has a crushy. <laughs> it had been a few days after my meeting with Fluttershy, and my mind was, in a, was, was a blur. Whenever I saw her, let alone any pony, I would fly away and hide behind the clouds to not be seen. I didn't really want to talk to anyone else about what I was feeling. Could I act like everything was cool? Sure. Why couldn't I? But even that was too tough for me. Eventually, though, my emotions got the better of me, and I had to tell some pony, ask any pony, what this might mean. And although she wasn't the brightest bulb in the box, I could only trust Pinkie Pie. I headed down the sugar cube corner without delay. Oh, hi, Dashie. You have to try this cupcake recipe I made, she said, handing me a plate full of cupcakes. I smiled lightly and grabbed one in my with my I smiled lightly and grabbed one in my mouth, gulping it down. Blackberry, I believe. They're great, Pinky. But that's not why I'm here. Oh, then you're here to buy some treats because Miss Cake just made a fresh back. <laughs> I can't <laughs> do her voice very well. Her mannerisms very well. Because Mrs. Cake just made a fresh batch of oatmeal raisin. I usually pick out the raisins because they're not my favorite thing to put in cookies. But you know what they say. Don't knock it till you try it, right? I did terribly there. <laughs> Whatever. Actually, Pinky, it's about what happened recently. I th I think I might... Crap. This really caught her attention. I was hoping I could just say it to get it off my chest, but her blue eyes were staring right at me. It was the moment of truth. You might what? She asked. I swallowed hard. It was now or never, wasn't it? You can't tell a soul, I urged. Pinky nodded, pursing her lips. Promise? Cross my heart and hope the fly stick a cupcake in my eye, she said to me, a smile on her face. I sighed. Here we go. I think I, th I think I might have a crush on some pony. Before I could finish, she grabbed my face with her hooves, hopping up and down. Dashie has a crushy. Dashie has a crushy. God. She began to cheer up and down. Good thing no one was around to hear her. Pinky, Pinkie Pie, I don't want... Let me start over. Pinkie Pie, I don't want all of Ponyville to hear, I whispered harshly. This must have reminded her it was a secret because she nodded vigorously. Her expression grew more devious. So, who's the lucky stallion? She asked, uh, hopping around me in circles. I lowered my head, my face getting hot. It's, it's not a stallion. She continued to hop around me. A zebra then? No. Now she was confused. Well, is it a girl? She slowed down and looked at me. I sighed and lowered my ears. Yeah. At first I thought she'd hate me for being attracted to a girl, but smiled at me and threw a friendly hug around my neck. Dashy, I had no idea. You know, you're still my bestest, bestest friend. I sighed in relief. Phew. Thanks, Pinky. She smiled at me and pulled away. So, who is she? She asked, plopping her rump down. Okay. <laughs> Hope nobody can hear me say this crap. <laughs> I'm right next to a bathroom, essentially. 
No, oh, well, more confessions. This one would be the hardest. I, I hesitated. I think it might be. Pinkie Pie leaned in to listen. Yes, as she blinked her eyes at me. I think it's Fluttershy. Pinkie's jaw dropped as if the earth had yanked it down. Her eyes widened. What? She gasped, throwing her hooves against her cheeks. When, when, when? I thought just the other day you hated her. I nodded. Yeah, I thought I hated her too. But when I actually talked to her, I, I don't know, I just... Pinky smiled the biggest smile I've seen in a while. That's adorable, Rainbow Dash. Did you tell her? I shook my head. No, I barely even know. I just figured out I might today. But you can't tell any pony, I warned again. She nodded. Pinky promise. And I, and I knew she'd never break a pinky promise. I smiled at her. Good. So what do you think I should do? Pinky tapped her, Pinky's tapped her, God, Pinky tapped her hoof to her mouth. Hmm, that's a toughie. I never dealt with crutches before. Best bet is just to tell her how you feel, Dashie, she urged. I shuddered at the idea. No way. What if she, like, hates me? The thought of her hating me was just unthinkable. I couldn't even think of that. Pinky sighed. Dashy, dashy, dashy. She threw an arm around me. I sighed. You can't just live in the dark forever. Eventually, either she will figure out on her own, or you will tell her. That's how it works, you know? I nodded. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But still, I'll wait. Pinky raised an eyebrow. Whatever you say, Dashy. Part four. I know you can fix them. It had been a while since my talk with Pinkie Pie. I chose to just keep at that and see where it went. The gang and I would have our usual adventures, but Fluttershy and I, ne but Fluttershy and I never really interacted alone, except when she had helped me pick out Tank, my tortoise. After that, I had more of a reason to interact with her, since she would helped me provide food and whatnot for him. That made me extremely happy that I could see her often enough alone and get to know her more. I would end up staying a bit longer than attended as we would talk about for, as we would talk for almost hours at a time. Whether it was about how the weather would be tomorrow or what animals she had taken care of, I didn't really care as long as we, as long as we talked. It seemed she would open up to me more and more, which made me even happier. Ugh. One evening, I was headed over to get more food for Tank. Nothing out of the ordinary, except I was flying extra fast to see her. Because I was planning on asking her to hang out with me. Like, officially hang out. I couldn't be more excited. As I flew overhead, I saw her not at her house, but near a few lonely trees in a field, sitting alone. Panic set in as my stomach dropped. What was the matter? I swooped down as quickly as I could, landing a few feet away. Fluttershy? What's wrong? I asked in a panicked voice. Suddenly, she turned around and looked at me with those big blue eyes filled with tears. I gulped at the sight, and my heart dropped. Why it happened? Oh, Rainbow Dash, it's just awful, she sobbed as she nuzzled her head under my chin for comfort. I felt as though I was going to collapse. My knees grew weak and my heart raced. I, I had never actually ha had her be affectionate with me before, even if it was some feeble attempt to get me to comfort her. Despite it not being my style to be sympathetic, I nuzzled back slightly in an instant. What's the matter, Fluttershy? Huh? I asked, trying to soothe her and help to calm her down. When I noticed she had a brown bird cl uh, cradled in her hooves, I sighed. It must have been hurt. I don't know what happened, Rainbow Dash. I fed him this morning, and he was fine. 
Then, as I was going to check on him, I found him like this. Her sobs grew more and more uncontrollable as I did my best to make her feel better. I knew I was awful for enjoying her touch while I knew I know I was awful for enjoying her touch while while she was so upset, but I just couldn't resist. Fluttershy, hey, I whispered in a soothing voice. If anybody can help him, it's you. She began to calm down now, wiping her nose. You you believe that? She asked, still crying, but not as hard. I nodded, gently rubbing her back. I know you can fix them. She was beginning to become more subdued now. But you need to relax and calm down. No doctor can help a patient when they're crying now, right? I asked, hoping I didn't sound too harsh. Her sobs calmed down now as she began to sniffle. I, I guess not. I smiled down at her. No, you gotta keep cool and put your emotions aside to help your patients. And I've seen you with um, injured and and I've seen you with injured animals. You can do it. She pulled away as I stood in the same position, yearning for more. Thank you, Rainbow Dash. You're such a good friend, she said, smiling through her tears. Those words were bittersweet. A good friend? I sighed but smiled nonetheless, nodding. Yeah, yeah, don't sweat it. Fluttershy bat her eyes at me, moving closer. I mean it, Rainbow Dash. I don't know what I'd do without you, she said, pressing on. I rubbed the back of my head and gulped. It felt like I had a parasprite in my stomach, fluttering their wings. Really, really, it's nothing, I assured her. Why was I so afraid? I wanted this, didn't I? No, no, I shouldn't get my hopes up. I should stop reading into this too deeply. She put the bird gently on her back and lifted into the sky. I know you came for Tank's food, but I gave you the last bag last week. I'll have another tomorrow, okay? She said to me. She said to me. Thanks again, Rainbow Dash. She said before she took off. I marveled at how slow and gracefully she flew. Despite not being fast or flying high, it was such a soothing sight to see. Maybe I could take her flying sometime. Take her flying. Hey, wait, Fluttershy, I shouted. She turned to me, a confused look on her face. Yeah, Rainbow Dash? She asked. I swallowed hard. You want to come with me to watch the meteor showers in the sky, in the sky tomorrow? It's going to be cloudy, and the earth and unicorn ponies can't see it. But I figured maybe you'd want watch it. Well, you'd want to watch it with me, since we're both Pegasus ponies after all. I said, showing off my wings. Then Fluttershy just looked at me, not saying a word. This went on for a good ten seconds. My pose changed as I tried to make myself look smaller and smaller, lowering my ears. Still a nervous smile on my face. I. I felt res relief when she smiled at me and nodded. Oh, th okay, that sounds nice, Rainbow Dash. I'll see you tomorrow then, she said, smiling at me, and then flew off, obviously eager to get the bird back. I smiled joyfully and hopped up and down. Okay, great, pick you up at eight. And I flew up, up into the sky, and in no time I was above the clouds, spinning and twirling. All of Ponyville must have heard my whoops and yells of joy. This was really happening. We were going to hang out. Together. Just us. I couldn't wait. Part 5. So, do you like any pony? I woke, up in the, I woke up the next morning as hyper and happy as ever. Tonight was the night. <coughs> Wait a minute. My nose was bleeding for a second. <laughs> Tonight was the night. We were going to hang out and watch the meteor shower together. I couldn't wait. I was so ecstatic. I wanted to see her now, but I f but figured I'd wait. I didn't want to come on too strong, right? The sun was setting, and night came before I knew it. I figured as twilight set into the sky, I would... <clears throat> I figured as twilight set into the sky, I would head over to her house and pick her up. I found a nice location in the clouds, 
looked at the other Pegasus and usually neglected. But thanks to Twilight's extensive knowledge on the patterns of the shower, I, it would it would be a perfect view for us. I gotta admit, I'm a little jealous, said Twilight, trotting to put the book away she showed me about the shower. I gulped. Why is that, bookwormed? I asked, playing it off as nonchalant and cool. As big as I, I think I owe it to Fluttershy to get her hooves off the ground, don't you think? I asked, raising an eyebrow. Twilight giggled. It's not that. This shower is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Of course your Pegasi ponies had to cloud up the sky, huh? She said, a joking tone to her voice. I shrugged. Well, it was going to rain tonight anyway after the shower. It had to be done, I protested. Twilight nodded. Okay, but I do think it's a bit odd. It's just you and Fluttershy. You didn't want to bring Derpy or anything? I began to feel nervous in my stomach. Only Pinky had known about this, so Twilight questioning it, questioning it made me uneasy. <coughs> well, I haven't really hung out with her alone, you know. I mean, I know you pretty well, and all of them. I want to be able to get to know Fluttershy. I looked for an excuse to leave right then and there. Well, would you look at the time? I'd better go get Fluttershy. Bye. And with that, I ran out of the library. I could hear Twilight Sparkle's wait, Rainbow, in the distance. As I arrived, I knocked on her door without hesitation. Hey, Fluttershy, I called. Just a moment. I could hear her meek voice through the door. I smiled warmly, waiting for her to answer. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> As the door slowly opened, I could see her beaming brightly at me, gently shoving the protesting angel back into the door. I'm ready. She walked outside and, and averted her eyes. It made my heart melt. Well, are you ready? When's the last time you flew this high before? I asked her. She shrugged. Well, I think it's time you got your who's in the clouds for a change, don't you think? Fluttershy looked over at me. Okay. She slowly lifted herself in the air and was at my level now, which was above her, which was above her house. She squealed and buried her head in my neck. I let out a happy sigh, which I don't think she heard. All right, here we go. It's just up here, I said, pointing to a patch of fluffy clouds a few miles away. She smiled and nodded as I guided her gently over to the cloud. No groaning, no complaints, and how slow I was going. For her, I'd go as slow as a tank. As we settled in, the, sa the shower already started. The sky danced with white fireballs and a blue aura surrounded them. It was truly a beautiful sight, but not as beautiful as the mare next to me. As I turned to her, it appeared as though her blue eyes matched the display above, gently flickering with life as each new meteor passed above us. She was truly so beautiful in this light. If only I could move closer to <laughs> What's wrong, Rainbow? She asked cur curiously as my face was at least five inches from hers. I blushed furiously and pulled away quickly. N nothing. I thought I saw something on your face. Uh, here. I gently placed my hoof on her cheek and wiped away the fake crumb. She smiled gracefully. <laughs> Thanks, D Dashy. Did she just call me the name Pinky did? What does this mean? Why did she call me that? Questions. These questions needed to be answered. Or maybe I was thinking too deeply again. I sighed, trying to enjoy myself, which wasn't hard with her there. <clears throat> After a few minutes of just small talk, the topic of relationships came up. She mentioned back in flight school how she, how she had a crush on Red Robin, a small coat colt who was the top of our class and whom I always bickered with. She said she thought it was funny how I would always manage to come just a 
few seconds before him in every race and my comments to him. I was thankful that she didn't mention any crushes now. Wait, wait, what? Okay. I was content to talk about her childhood crushes and love interest and even an old ex-boyfriend. Then the conversation turned to me. Okay, I don't wait a couple of sentences of that didn't make much sense, but whatever. So, do you like any pony? That question completely caught me off guard. I looked over to her and gave her a small smile. What would I tell her? Wait, no, would I tell her? Would I tell her under the stars? Would I tell her how I truly felt about her? <laughs> huh, me? Like anyone? Get real. I fly solo, remember? I asked, flashing a big grin. Fluttershy giggled at me. <laughs> I guess I forgot. Big Wonderbolt trainee, can't you get yourself tied down, she said, continuing to look up at the stars. Why did that comment upset me so much? She was absolutely right. I shouldn't want to be tied down by any pony. I gave off the free as a bird impression. I thought that hurt. I think what hurt the most was she didn't seem phased by this. Maybe she was on the inside. Who knows? But what I can tell is she isn't phased by this at all. <laughs> yeah, I said. I wanted to explode, or at least cry. This was too much to handle. She was sitting so close, the moment seemed so right. I was going to tell her how I felt, whether I was ready or not. Fluttershy, I finally forced myself to whisper. She turned to me, a confused look on her face. Yeah, Dashie? I gulped lo loudly as I felt my throat dry up. Do you like any pony now? This was the moment of truth. If she said she liked some pony, I'd, I'd leave it at that. My heart would be shattered, but at least I could move on. Kind of, anyway. She looked down as the at the clouds and shrugged. Why? Did she know I liked her, and if she liked some other pony, I'd be disappointed? Or was there something really there? Not that I can think of, she finally mumbled. I sighed. That wasn't good enough. I moved closer to her. Fluttershy, what am I to you? I finally asked. She looked up at me, a strong blush on her face. A good friend. A best friend, she said, looking me dead in the eye. That was it, wasn't it? That was all I was ever going to, going to be, huh? I didn't hide the disappointment on my face. Oh, well, that's it. Then she said something I never thought I'd ever, ever hear. Part six, you're just awesome. I think I might be getting feelings for you, she said, a blush on her face as she turned it away from mine. But I don't know. It felt as though a rush of emotions flooded my heart, none of which were negative. If there was hesitation in her voice, I couldn't hear it. All I could hear were those words. I think I might be getting feelings for you. It was at that moment I wanted to leap onto her and give her the biggest hug in the world. But she was fluttershy. This had to be handled delicately. I swallowed hard, but kept the smile on my face. I think so too, fluttershy. I kept my eyes on her as she averted her gaze from me, but kept a smile on her face. But why? I don't understand how a mare like you could like a mare like me. But she kept, she kept her head away, but her eyes blinked to look at me. I don't know. You're just really sweet and nice and funny. And when you told me how I could heal that bird, it made me feel so good about myself. No one's ever had that kind of faith in me. And he's fine. He flew this morning and it was all thanks to you. I let out a chuckle and shrugged. Oh, he was nothing, Fluttershy. 
I never met any pony like you. You're just awesome, she finally said to me. I looked at her, and even though she wouldn't make eye contact with me, I knew it was because she was shy. I smiled looking at her. You think I am? She nodded, but flipped her pink mane to cover her face the best she could. It was too adorable. My heart melted at the sight. But, Dashi, why do you like me? I'm just a simple, boring, and closed-off mare. How could you like me? My eyes opened wide. I haven't really thought about why I liked her. I just did. But I knew I had to give her an answer. I gently put my hoof on her cheek and moved her face to look at mine. Her blue eyes blinked at me, and it almost made me lose my nerve. I could stare forever. Because you're super beautiful, and I think the way you're so shy is adorable. And you have so much greatness in you. You're intelligent and kind and so caring to animals. I just... you grew on me fast. I smiled. Wait a minute. Fluttershy's smile grew as she averted her gaze from mine. Rainbow Dash. I smiled over her head her, and then things got quiet again. I didn't speak. She didn't speak, and neither did I. What did this mean? We admitted our feelings. Does that mean we're a couple? Do we just leave it at that? I've already gotten this far. I won't give up now. Fluttershy? Oh. She looked over at me, a puzzled expression on her face. Yes, Dashie? I swallowed hard. What's this mean? She stayed silent, lowering her eyes and looking down at the clouds. I don't know. I urged on, a sick feeling now in my stomach. Now I'm going to be blunt with you, Fluttershy. I've never been in a relationship before, so I don't know much about it. She remained silent. But I really, really want to give this a shot. I want to see if we can make it work. I know this is out of the blue, but I really like you. I don't want to let you slip through my hooves. Fluttershy turned, turned to me, a smile on her face. You mean you'd be willing to be with me? She asked, rubbing her foreleg with her hoof. I nodded enthusiastically. Absolutely. It would be totally awesome to be with you like that. She just looked at me, still smiling. What do you say, huh? She sighed, and it was quiet again. Only the si silence lasted a while. She kept opening her mouth as if she want wanted to say something, but it was silent. My expression and mood went from overjoyed to terrified. Not only did Fluttershy know of my secret, but she knew it and wouldn't want to be with me because of it. I felt as though I had made a terrible mistake. The only thing keeping me on the cloud was that I knew she'd need help flying down. Fluttershy looked over to me and nodded slowly. Sure, why not? I'd be willing to give it a try, she said, a shy smile on her face. I hovered into the air, whooping and shouting happ happily. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. This is the best night ever. <laughs> and although Fluttershy wasn't as audible with her happiness as I was, I knew she would be happy to take this journey with me. As soon as I landed, she walked over to me and rested her head against my chest. I am sure she could hear my heart beating a million times a second, but I didn't care. I was happy, happy to finally have her as my own. It seemed like it'd be a thousand years before she'd ever say yes. It seemed so good to be true. You're really cute, Fluttershy, you know that? I said to her. Fluttershy shrugged, burying her head in my fur. No, I'm not. Give me a second. I wouldn't argue with her on that. Not tonight. Not now. For now, we both watched the rest of the show together. As it, it was as if we finally became one. At last, I had my prize. 
uh, later that night, the last meteor flew over the sky, and with perfect timing, she yawned. I guess it's time we head back, huh? I asked to her. She nodded tiredly. I assisted her in flying back to her house, where I could see a very angry angel looking through her window. Uh-oh, is he jealous? I asked with a laugh. Fluttershy giggled. Oh, he'll get over it. Thanks for this lovely time, Dashie, she said, rubbing her foreleg. No, thank you, Fluttershy. It was the end of the date. Do I kiss her yet? No, no, we just started going out. But I had to do something to show her that what I said tonight was serious. Nah, it wasn't time. I wasn't ready, and neither was she. Uh, as she was about to walk in, she turned to look at me. Um, Rainbow Dash? Her voice grew quiet. Yeah? Can you... Can you take me to watch the butterfly migration next week? Butterfly migration? Ugh, what a drag. Talk about boring. Talk about lame. Talk about... Then she did that thing. Only it was on purpose. She, she bat her eyes at me, a small smile on her face. Please? I gulped and nodded without hesitation. Sure. Why not, huh? She squealed with delight. Yay! Thank you, Dashie. She threw her arms around me in a, in a hug and disappeared inside. I stood there for a few moments before I took off into the night sky yet again. I haven't felt this happy in months. I truly felt, felt on top of the world. I flew higher than I ever did tonight. I hope this feeling would last forever. Would this feeling last forever? Find out next time. Same bat time, same bat channel.